Hi everyone, Fluffy here. Well, you would have probably already watched, or maybe since you saw this title, you went to this one before the other one. Um, wear the same shirt because I'm doing these back to back. That's why the thumbnail will be the same. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything clever to put for my second thumbnail. I was going to do this, but that Sarge is doing, and I didn't want to be a copycat. <laughs> I'm sure she wouldn't mind, but I try to ask first, so you'll just get the same thumbnail. I just wanted to talk a little bit about my visit with Sarge. Um, no medical updates because, you know, right now Mrs. Sarge is able to do it, so uh, I would rather her do it than me, but I don't believe, you know, all that she and I talked about today, there's really no new medical updates. Uh, I think they're just right now kind of in a holding pattern. So, uh, had a real good visit with um, Mrs. Sarge. She and I, you know, spoke. I was there like six, seven, maybe set, uh, three hours, three and a half hours, just visiting and chatting and, and talking and, you know, just about, you know, what's been happening on Monday, since Monday, and um, just reiterating some stuff with, you know, a couple of few extra things, but not anything that is like, oh my gosh, you know, we really need to tell their subscribers. You get what I'm saying? Um, but she was, she slept, uh, Sarge is, look, she looks good. I mean, I don't know what I was expecting when I went in there, but she, you know, she just looked like she was sleeping. Like when I took her in for her platelets, you know, it looks, she looks like Sarge. Um, uh, she would, you know, come to every now and again, kind of wake up and want something to drink. And she looked over at me and I could tell she knew who I was, although she's really having, you know, trouble seeing as, you know, Mrs. Sarge had told y'all. Uh, but she knows my voice, and I think I got loud a couple of times, and that woke her up. <laughs> she didn't seem annoyed, but um, just one little, uh, it's going to be a short video. Uh, two little stories. One, um, Mrs. Sarge had left to go downstairs, grab herself a sandwich, and then come back up, you know, walk, you know, walk her, you know, stretch her legs. She's not just walking around, but stretch her legs to go down to the cafeteria and pick her up something to eat and bring it back. So it was just me and Sarge and Sarge was asleep. So uh, Sarge all of a sudden wakes up and she looks at me and she goes, you know, do you mind if, you know, I go to the restroom? So I'm like, no, of course. So I'm thinking that she's wanting me to help her into the restroom, right? And help her. She's my friend. Of course I'm going to do that, right? Y'all, I get as far as her bed, okay? And she looks at me, and you know how the faces she usually gets me when, you know, when she's like, oh my God, you know, or whatever. But she looks at me and she goes like, uh, and she makes the shooing uh, motion for me to to leave well in my brain I'm like oh my god you know she's probably unsteady on her feet they've been putting the bed alarm like when Sarge goes to sleep you know just so they know she's moving around and so I don't know what to do she doesn't want me in there which I totally get you know I'm not Mrs. Sarge but then I don't want her walking by herself so I try to get around it by I'm like do you think the bed alarm is on she goes I'll let you know. <laughs> no, how does she say? I'll let you know. Well, of course, it's going to be so loud that I, I could hear it, right? But just the way she said it, I mean, I started chuckling, you know, all the way out the door. And so I'm like, oh, my gosh. So, y'all, my version of run, I haven't moved that quick in a long time. I scurried down the hall but because, of course, her room is at the end of the hall, right? So I go to the nurse's station. I said, excuse me. And I explained that the wife is not in the room. She's getting up to go to the restroom. Uh, there's no one there to help her. Uh, so I don't know what to do. So they run down there and, you know, they're helping her out. And so one of the ladies comes back out because they don't need all three of them in there. And I said, look, you know, I was she was left in my care and sh I don't want her to fall on my watch because I don't want the wife coming back going, oh, my God. <laughs> I leave for 10 minutes. <laughs> the nurse started laughing and she's like, yeah, because she'll never leave you in charge again or leave you alone with her again. I said, I know, right? <laughs> same old Sarge, same face and everything. Uh, just was nice to see. You know, I didn't mind her shushing me out of the room. <laughs> 
And then, so, you know, she would wake up every now and again, and, you know, you could tell that, you know, she's having a hard time with her vision, but, um, you know, she was would sip on this vanilla shake that she had, and um, so, you know, uh, I was just happy that I got to see her and, and converse with uh, Mrs. Sarge. You know, she and I had a real good chat, and she was able to go downstairs and, you know, stretch her legs, and so then it was time for me to go because, you know, Sarge had eaten and uh, they had, you know, given uh, uh, Sarge an Ambien because, you know, she has told you on her channels that she takes it to sleep. And so I told Mrs. Sarge, I said, well, I'm going to go ahead and take off. You know, you've eaten. You probably want to settle down and, you know, lay down yourself. So I hugged her goodbye and then I went up to Sarge and I grabbed her hand and I squeezed it. And I said, I'll be back in a couple of days. She squeezed me back. And I said, I love you. And she says, I love you too. And I said, okay. So um, I started to leave. And of course, you know, my smart ass self. <laughs> I said, because she was still kind of awake. Um, she had her eyes closed, but I didn't think she was as awake as she was. Because I go, uh, and she was covered in her... Her top blanket was the Philadelphia Eagle blanket. I think the one that uh, JCP had sent from the Eagle camp. And I said, um, uh, and yeah, uh, we're going to discuss you having this blanket on you. I said, I'm going to bring a Dallas Cowboy blanket for uh, you to replace it with or something like that. And, uh, and just with her eyes still closed, that little smart ass, and I loved it. She goes, that shit will never happen. <laughs> I said, well, um, I'll do it. Take a picture while you're asleep. <laughs> she had no response to that. And as I was leaving, I hear Mrs. Sarge goes, oh, you don't want a Dallas cowboy blanket? <laughs> but I didn't wait to hear uh, what Sarge had to say because she was saying that as I was shutting the door. And had I waited outside the door to hear her answer, I would have been eavesdropping. So I could just imagine what she said. So um, it was a nice visit. I, I'm, I'm glad that I, I got to see her and talk to Mrs. Sarge and um, I made sure that um, Mrs. Sarge knew that a lot of y'all had asked me to hug and, you know, give uh, Sarge a hug and give her a hug from everyone. And she said that when Mrs. Sarge, when Sarge was more awake, um, that she would definitely tell her about all the well wishes that y'all asked me to send, knowing that I was going to see her today. So, um, so I hope that uh, my little visit and hearing uh, how she is uh, has made you smile a little bit today. It, it sure did. It did my heart good to be able to see Mrs. Sarge. And, uh, and for those of y'all that are concerned for her, she says she's doing real, she's, doing really well. She looks real good for the stressors of, you know, the past two weeks. I mean, the whole time, but you know how, how things have escalated. Um, she's looking, she's looking real good. Um, so, um, I was glad to see that. And, uh, so there you go. God bless y'all. Positive vibes out to each and every one of you. Remember to always be kind and be your own advocate. I will talk to y'all real soon, okay? Bye.